Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my beautiful ride show, Revolutionaries. It's me, Gio, and y'all know who the fuck it is. It's the man, the myth, and the machine. And I'm very excited to bring you guys this video today. I know there's a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of fake experts on YouTube, but one one of the the real experts on YouTube is here to show you how it's possible to make two hundred and seventy four dollars in a little over six hours driving for Uber. Um, we're gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna specify how this is a combination of knowledge of the market, the car, and luck. <laughs> so yeah let's just uh this 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 is my breakdown for the day 274 dollars it says five hours and 40 minutes um i i stopped driving around 10 hi scotty around 10 15 this morning um and then i got after my last uber x ride i had a really bad case of the hershey squirts so I had to find a bathroom really bad. So that's that's what I just did. I just found a bathroom and now I'm gonna show you guys how it's done. All right. This this is huge. This is the best morning I've ever had. I've never, I think the best morning up to this one was $220 maybe in a single morning rush. So there's a lot of things involved with making this much money, right? The first one is being up on time. I was up at 3.40. No, I was out the door at 3.40 this morning, okay? And I did something I don't usually do. I ate the miles from my house to downtown. And, um, yeah. And then my first ride was an UberX ride to the airport. My second ride from... to So I took the first ride. I, I'll just... I'll show you guys. Um, first ride was... Me. Where is it? 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 There we go. So that that ride got knocked out quick, right? That was only a seventeen minute ride, so about twenty two minutes total from the time I got the ping to when I dropped them off. Ate the miles, came back, and then I ended up uh, on the west side, kinda. So there you go. I and then I turned my app off because I really didn't. I'm on the west side, as you guys know, lower income, so pool heaven. Didn't feel like dealing with pools at whatever time that was, five in the morning. No, thank you. So I turned my app off and I ate the miles back downtown, and then I started using my filters. Right, these rides here, the twelve dollar one, and then the yeah, all three of those rides were on my filters. But the Uber app was messing up around, uh, what time was that? Five, around 5.50, the app was acting up. I don't know. It was like frozen. Um, it turned off without me clicking it off. So it ruined one of my filters. So I used another filter, right? So then obviously that's the second necessary part of making that much money in the morning is using your filter. You have to know if you take an airport ride in Chicago past 5.15 on a Monday, your, your morning is effectively done. You're not going to catch all the good surge downtown. You're not going to get the good pool rides that pay better with the surge because they stack the surge rides on top of each other. If you take an airport ride five, past 5.15, you're done, done, done. So I use both my filters and I turn my app off. And then I noticed there was some heavy surge around... Uh, yeah, around like 6.15 as I made my last drop off. So I changed the preferences on my app to select and Excel only. I didn't want to do any more economy rides. Not with the surge looking like that. And then I got super lucky with a $95 surge ride or a $95 select ride. I don't get that many select rides. I'm not going to lie. I get way more Excels. Um, but this one was awesome. So this one was, there you go. $95 for an hour and 12 minutes, 45 miles on select. Very, very good ride. Probably the best select ride I've had since getting this car. 
pasture is cool as hell. He told me he doesn't like it when he orders a select and he gets a Mercedes uh, COA. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny because as you guys know how I feel about Mercedes. Uh, so there you go. So that's the third thing necessary to make that, that much money in Chicago is you have to know when to switch your preferences. When, when's the best time to take these high paying rides? Cause it's not, it's not before 630. It's not, but you know, you, you want to take these good paying rides when they're advantageous, right? So, and then I did that one. I got one quick UberX ride in cause yeah. And that's another thing too, is you also have to know when to turn economy rides back on. So after I dropped that gentleman off in St. Charles, I turned my preferences back to all on Uber. And I set my preferences on Lyft to accept every ride because I figure if anyone's going to the airport and I'd rather take a regular economy ride to the airport than sit out here and eat dead miles, right? And then I got super lucky again. I got a comfort ride to Evanston. This one paid really, really well. If it loads. <laughs> anyway, no. That can connect. Uh, let's try it one more time. <laughs> there you go. Crestwood or St. Charles, Illinois to Evanston with a tip for an hour and a half was $92. Can't get much better than that. But here's the thing. This is this is why you also have to know when to switch preferences. If, you're com if your vehicle is comfort qualified, you will not get a comfort ping unless you have the X preference on. If you don't have the economy preferences on, you will not get comfort pings. Okay, word to wide, what words to the wise, and then I closed up with one Uber X and one Uber XL. So the, the Uber XL was like half a mile. The Uber X was a little over a mile, and then I was done. So huge morning, nice tips, great rides, but you have to. The things necessary to have a morning like this you got to be ready to go up and ready to go four in the morning you have to use your filters because let me show let me show you guys uh, let me show you my let me show you i'm not bullshitting you right stupid you gotta go back to the home screen let me set my filter for o'hare i have zero remaining zero filter i use my filters so to make the money like this, guys, got to be up, ready in the car at four in the morning. You have to use your filters. Absolutely have to use your filters. Okay. You have to know when to switch your preferences to get the best rides. And you probably don't want to do it too early. Okay. And then you also have to know when's the best time to get economy rides. All right. And the other thing too is those are the four things that are all in your control, all on the control of the driver. The last thing. The fifth, the fifth thing necessary to make $274 in little over six hours, luck. You can't plan on a $95 select ride. You can't plan on a $92 comfort ride. Okay. When they come in, awesome. But there is not a, anyone who says, oh yeah, I knew I was going to get a $100 select ride on a Tuesday afternoon. They're full of shit. Okay. What you're in control of is knowing the patterns. Yep. Knowing when to take airport trips, when not to take airport trips. Because if I would have taken an airport ride, if I, luckily I had use of my filters at five, like 511, 515 when I got to use my first one. Uber doesn't always let us use our filters that early. Okay. But if I didn't use a filter, if I ended up with one airport ride past 515, I will I would have made like a hundred and fucking fifteen bucks a day. So that's why I tell you guys, you have to to make the most money possible, you have to know you have to know these things. Right? When the when the great rides happen, awesome. But I got lucky. I got two ninety plus dollar rides almost in a row. You can't you cannot plan for that. What I can plan for is even if I didn't get the select ride. I still would have cleaned up because there was really good surge this morning. I still would have done really well doing economy rides with surge. But 
I took a gamble and it paid off. All right, when I saw that on the estimated trip duration, so 71 minutes select, I thought that was going to the airport, but I'm like, yeah, that's, that'll still be like 65 bucks. Why not, right? No, I was rewarded with something much better. The rideshare gods have smiled on me today. Maybe because I was very uh, courteous with the uh, with the with the handicapped gentleman on Saturday. Who knows, right? Good karma, right? I don't know. Be a good person and you get rewarded, right? It's not that easy, but uh, yeah, I just want to share you guys with that guy. Just don't forget the necessary steps to making the most money on a on a busy morning. Be in the car. That one's that one's important, guys. Being up early, using your filters, obviously very important. Knowing when to switch your preferences to premier categories and knowing when to switch back to economy rides and being lucky. So those five things are super important. The first four are entirely up to you. So, yeah. Uh, I know this was going to get a lot of, a lot of dislikes because uh, the YouTube community doesn't like it when I make money. But you guys that aren't comfortable with me making money can go fuck yourselves. All right, guys. That's all I got. I want to thank you all for watching. Everyone, please stay safe, stay driven, stay classy. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.